And good evening, ladies and gentlemen, from Panther Gymnasium. Uh, I'm Coach Shane Hartzell with the Magnet Cove High School East YouTube channel, and we are about to get underway for senior boys' actions. Our senior, the senior girls, fell tonight to uh, the Lady Hornets, 49 to 41, was the final there, and uh, we look tonight to see if the Magnet Cove boys Panthers uh, can get their first victory here tonight at Panthers Gymnasium. And we'll turn it over to Dalton Reed, the PA announcer here. And we're about to get underway here at Panther Gymnasium. Again, that was Dalton Reed uh, on the public uh, address announcers. And so we're about to get started here with in for boys action tonight here from Panther Gymnasium. And joining me here is Dalton Reed, your analyst in uh, head commentator here. <laughs> yeah, it feels, feels good to be back in the booth. Had, I'm pulling double duty all year, guys, <laughs> doing the, the PA announcing and the broadcast announcing. So uh, that's a small town school for you right there. <laughs> Got one person behind the mic, and I'm, I'm proud to be that person behind the mic. And so it's the first time I've seen the senior boys in action all year. Absolutely. They Look lost cool. last night at Bismarck. And so Damian Stevens... Uh, gets a little, little bit ahead of himself. And so Blevins will start with the ball. That is Powell that is going to be the inbounds man. Looks like a 1-3-1 one, one for the Panthers here yes. to start the evening. And a long three and shot no good there from Xavier Bazell. And Anthony is the only one with experience on the floor at the moment, varsity experience. And so he will pick up that right there and just a scuffle for the ball as Davis, K. Davis kind of gets away with it. And that is an errant pass right there, and that's going to be off of a Blevins defender. And it looks like Blevins is going to apply pressure right here, Coach. Yes, uh, both teams uh, starting off, uh, uh, each team not being able to convert on their first and second offensive possessions here. And they're going to say that one is They're going to say off of, of Stevens. Stevens. So we're... Just about a minute in this contest, no points scored thus far. Powell thought about the three there from the corner. And Xavier Brazil is just short, and that ball will go out of bounds to the Panthers.
Kay Davis, and that ball is going to be number two. Is going to take it. That's Riley Powell. And this pressure is really getting to the Panthers. Yes. They're able to get it across half court with Barrington. And Barrington's going to go up and in. And a beautiful drive there on the left-hand side from Chad, the sophomore. So that evens it up at two apiece. And As that shot is no good. Rebound. Anthony Velasquez. Pushes it up to Damien and to Zach. And Dickinson. Zach is another one of those players that decided to play this year was as, as Coach Long was brought in. And he has already making an impact with some points there. And that's a long three off the front of the iron there as Powell comes away with the rebound. That was Gomez with the three. And Anthony gets a piece of it. And to Stevens. Up and the shot rolls just out right there. And that will be some some charity stripe shots coming here for the sophomore. And this, this team is very inexperienced. Um, we yes. graduated a lot. Cade tr uh, decided to play, and so did Zach, the two seniors that are on the floor right now. And you got a junior in, in Tony. He's the only one with varsity experience on the floor. And then you got two sophomores who have moved up from junior high. Right. The, yes, Dalton, you, you alluded to that. And a uh, little bit of, you know, growing pains. Uh, there's not a lot of like, experience on the floor. Uh, again, like you said, uh, Velasquez is the only uh, one returning who has any type of varsity experience. So, And you really uh, you can't simulate varsity experience. No, you, you just you can't. Cannot. It's, a, it's a totally different thing. And a high arcing three there from Bonner is no good. And play called out there. Baron Times fighting through the screen, trying to make a move on that baseline, but it's cut off. Good hustle. And a beautiful, beautiful. move there, and the shot just rolls out. Dickinson Center. finds it and goes back, back up. up. And he will draw the contact, and he is being a hoss down low thus far. Great job by Dickinson uh, again to get position and, and go up and fight for the rebound and uh, gets fouled on the shot, so he'll shoot a pair. And the first one is off the mark. And that looks like, is that Keon Willis? That is Keon Willis checking in checking for in. Chad. And hits the second shot, so puts the Panthers up by four here in the first. Oh, and that pass almost went out of bounds. Miscommunication there from the Hornets. Kick over to the corner, and that three is off the mark, but rebound by number four. And they're going to wave that off. The shot will be waved off as that was Kyle Hampton on the shot. And so he will go to the line to shoot a pair. And the first one is no good. And looks like Kay Davis is going to check out and checking in. Is Isaac Tillery, one of the uh, junior high kids that has, that has moved up. Converts on the second one, bringing the score to within three. And there's going to be pressure here. And Keon gets it away somehow. And Zach Dickinson was wide open down low and just couldn't find him as they try to get it into him there from Stevenson. And then this is an athletic team in Blevins. And Keon goes up and contests the shot. Damian Steves with the rebound pushes it up, kicks it out to Velasquez inside to Zach Ray Dickinson. And that's going to be Hampton they're going to call on the foul. And 
And that will be an inbounds. Velasquez will inbounds the ball. Gets it in to Keon. Movement. Got to come help. And Keon's going to pull a three, and it is good. And Keon Willis converts there to extend the lead to six. Oh, backdoor cut. And a beautiful play there from Xavier Baz Bazell. Great job of their guard to see him cutting back door there and for the open shot for the Hornets. Panthers having to work a lot around the perimeter. Can't really find anything inside. Ten seconds left there on the shot clock. And another three by Keon, and that one is good as Keon is two for two. From the three-point line as he extends the lead 12 to 5. Keon Willis filling it from the three-point line there. And we have a whistle, and there will be a timeout. And we will also take a timeout here on the Madden Cove High School East YouTube page as Keon Willis is on fire here with two threes in the last two possessions from the left elbow. Are you broke down on the side of Interstate 30? Call Bailey's Towing and Recovery. Are you locked out of your car? Call Bailey's Towing and Recovery. For any towing recovery lockout needs, call Bailey's Towing and Recovery at 501-332-3400. Again, that number is 501-332-3400. Thank you for your business. And we are back here at Panther Gymnasium as the Panthers are up on Blevins by seven. Blevins will inbound the ball. Underneath their basket. And a three there, and that is nothing but net there from number 12, Javier Gomez. Excuse me, that was not Gomez on the That three. was uh, number two, Riley Powell. Yes, got my, my two of my 12 confused. Couldn't see the one. And the three no good on the other end, and that is Bonner with the rebound. And that pass came out of the kitchen cooking right there as that will be off the hands of a Blevins defender, and so it will be Magnet Cove ball. Magnet up four, trying to extend the lead. Inside to Dickinson. As Tillery's going to come away with a scuffle for the ball. And a heave there. And a shot. Ooh. And that will be a shot clock violation, violation since none of the shots hit the rim. Zach Dickinson did its best job to, uh, to, to get that shot in there, but uh, just comes up short. And, of course, shot clock violation, like you said, Dalton. Minute and a half left to go here in the first quarter. Panthers up 12 to eight. And another pass from a Blevins guard that has just been too much. And number 12, Will Thompson, a so another sophomore is gonna check in. It looks like, a, uh, a no so we've got and I believe a senior, a freshman, and three sophomores on the floor for the Panthers. And Barenton gets it inside to Thompson. And they're going to say Will traveled right there. And so they will get it back on the other end. And so Tony's going to check in, and out comes Damian Stevens. 
Yeah, Will Thompson's just coming off the uh, the football field, and him yeah, and he Keon is. and and uh, uh, Anthony Velasquez as well. So uh, he's trying to get it in the groove of basketball now. So that's th three possessions in a row. Blevins has had a tip ball going, trying to go inside, and they have have had an error. Under a minute left to go here in the first. Panthers working it around the perimeter inside to Will, and he loses it, but Tony comes away with it. The ball is tipped, but Keon's going to come away with it. And that ball is going to be taken away by Blevins, number 12. It's going to be Gomez. Gomez. Javier Gomez. And a three, an arching three on the other end there by Xavier Bazell, and that one will not go. And a three from Keon, and that one is no good. And Will tries to bounce that one back in and got a little too much on the ball, and he hits the back of the iron. Right. And they're going to try a half-court heave with Gomez. And oh, it is good. It's it. Javier Gomez draws the deficit to one after a half-court shot to end the first quarter. And so we've got a one-point game here at Panther Gymnasium. We'll be back with the second quarter right after this. Do you have some land you need cleared to build on? Call Hartzell Farms and Excavating. Do you need some excavation done on your property? Call Hartzell's Farms and Excavating. Hartzell's Farms and Excavating LLC is a veteran owned and operated company with 20 plus years of experience in the construction business. Owner Vernon Hartzell will be happy to see how he and his crew can meet your needs. Free estimates can be given by calling number 870-210-0204. Again, that number is 870-210-0204. Thank you for your business. If you're looking for a hidden gem while traveling down Arkansas Highway 51, then Panther Pass Grocery and Gas is your one-stop destination. The Panther Pass is more than just your typical local grocery and gas station. It is also has a full cafe menu with delicious mouth-watering food that will satisfy any type of appetite. The Panther Pass is also a proud supporter of the Manic Cove School District and a community partner with the Manic Cove High School East. The Panther Pass... And we are back here at Panther Gymnasium. Barron Tyne with the ball and to Davis, and he is stripped. And that is going to be, they're going to say that Blevins is going to retain possession there. He passes in to Gomez. And Gomez with the shot there. And he buries the two to to give the Hornets a one-point lead. Panthers moving the ball around, trying to break that zone. Inside to Kate, and Zachary Dix is on the baseline, misses, but Barentine with the rebound. Back to Davis. Davis looks to drive, and just a little bit too much on the, the ball, and Blevins coming back here. And it, the shot is up, and that is a three by Xavier Bazil. And he find, he's starting to heat up here, ladies and gentlemen. So with that, we will uh, – the score is 11-16, uh, the Magnet Cove Panthers 12. With that, we will take a quick timeout here on the Magnet Cove High School East YouTube channel. Do you have some land you need cleared to build on? Call Hartzell Farms and Excavating. Do you need some excavation done on your property? Call Hartzell's Farms and Excavating. Hartzell's Farms and Excavating LLC is a veteran owned and operated company with 20 plus years of experience in the construction business. Owner Vernon Hartzell will be happy to see how he and his crew can meet your needs. Free estimates can be given by calling number 870-210. 0204. Again, that number is 870-210-0204. Thank you for your business.
Keon Willis. Willis crossing the timeline. Gomez applying pressure to Velasquez. Back to Keon. To Kay Davis inside. And that is going to be off the foot of a Blevins player. And the Panthers will retain possession. Kay Davis to inbound the ball. And Barentine loses a grip on the ball, and a Blevins defender ties him up and looks like the favor, the possession error will go in favor of the Blevins Hornets. Javier Gomez looking to pass it, working the ball around. Back to Gomez. Gomez looks to drive. Kicks it to number three, and that is, uh, excuse me, Xavier Bazell. Keon tries to force it inside, and it, the ball is taken away from Gomez. Gomez comes up short, and that is going to be a foul. Uh, I believe on Keon Willis and number four, Kyle Hampton will go to the line to shoot two. First shot is up and just off the mark, bounces off the back of the rim. Yeah, Panthers find themselves in a six point destination here, coach, and they gotta regroup here uh, with, with 6.11 left to go here in the second quarter as that one is no good and another good rebound there by Powell. And he and traveled. He's traveled, yes. So that will give Magnet the possession. And Ball fake Levin's in there. really applying pressure in those corners. Barentine up. Rebound by Davis. Davis gets his own shot. Rebounds up again. And some Magnet fans wanted a foul there as Davis went up a second time. And, and that's three Pizzell. there and no good there. And Or excuse me, Riley Powell. Willis loses his dribble. And that up. is Bazell. Yeah, Xavier finds... Finds the basket on the other end off the turnover. Panthers down to eight now with 5.25 left to go until half. And the shot Great up and good, God. and that stops the bleeding for the Panthers as they draw it within six. Zach Dickinson with a great move just to go up strong and hit that shot. That one's going to bounce off the front of the rim by Bazell. Yeah, good defense there by Cade, the senior, as the Panthers force the ball up the floor. Chad Barenton for three. No good there. That's going to be Tony comes down with the rebound. Panthers reset the offense. Cade going to drive up, and the shot no good there, and that's going to be off of a Blevins defender, and that will retain possession for the Panthers. And so... Keon Willis is going to check out. In comes Damian Stevens. And Air Chad's time. going to take another three, and that one is good. And so Chad gets a three there from the elbow, and so that draws the deficit down to three. So Panthers really on a little run right here, Coach. Yes, sir. Uh, Barentine got a great look at the basket and just nails the three. And the steal there by Anthony. He's got Gomez on him. He's going to try to go east to west, and then he's going to kick it back out to Barentine. Barentine's going to take another three. He just misses that one, and Steven comes down with a jump ball, but and that will retain magnet possession with 3.55 left to go in the half. Yeah. 
And an open three, three. no good there. That's going to be off of Dickinson who tried to strangle the rebound but just couldn't get to it. Coach Long is fired up down there on the sideline. He wants these boys to play with some fire right. behind them, and they have been struggling to do that tonight. And so, and I think they're going to say that was off a mag. Uh, yes, that that player. will be Blevins' ball right there. Back out to Gomez. Damian Stevens applying the pressure. Oh, he and a beautiful pocket. steal. He's going to go coast to coast, and Stevens lays it in there. And so that draws the game within one. And he is beating that paper down there. Panthers on a run right here. And a three ball, and it's no good. Rebound by Barentine. Panthers looking to push. The ball is stripped Damian away Stevens there. Loses it. So now Gomez is going to bring it up the floor here for Blevins. And the ball is tipped away, and Dickinson comes away with it. Now Chad inside, Side. up, shot no good. Rebound. Dickinson is going to come away with it, and gets the and one. Zach Dickinson goes up with power and gets the bucket and the foul. What a move there by Zach. Yes, just a great move. Got position and, uh, you know, doing doing what he needs to do right there, getting position and taking that ball back up and getting the shot. So he makes and converts on the three-point play, so that gives the Panthers a two-point lead. And... Uh, and the shot attempt is no good, but we'll have a foul call there. Looks like that one's going to maybe be away from the ball. No, they're going to call that a, a uh, shooting foul there. Okay, Let's see. okay, yeah. Let's see who they call it on. Got it. That's going to be on number four. That's going to be Tony. And the first shot from... Bazell is good. And the second shot is up and good. So now got a tie game with 2.25 left to go here in the first half. Inside to Dickinson, looking for position, jump shot up, no good. Kay Davis is going to go up. He's going to go up again, and they will get the foul call on that one. Great hustle by Kay Davis, just getting position, uh, kept fighting for the ball, goes back up, uh, and eventually gets fouled, and now he'll go to the line to shoot two. A chance to take a lead here with these free throws, and the first one is up and is good. And the second one is good there from Davis. And so Panthers retain a two-point lead after those two free throws there from the senior. Inside, the shot is up and good there by Xavier Bazell. Yeah, the Panthers got lulled to sleep there with that back door and lost that backside man. And there's a whistle, and it will be Blevins' ball. I don't know if somebody stepped out of bounds, or I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure either there, Dalton. I'm Again. So a quick possession there for Blevins. Gives Magnet the ball on the other end. And Kate is stripped away there. And that's going to be number four running on the other end. Hampton's going to go up and in and get the and one. And looks like that foul is going to be on Kate Davis. Yeah, that will be Cade's first foul of the night as Blevins goes up two with that basket, a chance to go up three 
with this Hampton free throw. And it looks like Isaac Tillery is going to check back in for the Panthers. Yeah, Kay Davis is going to check out. Just chaos on the floor right now for the Panthers. Right. Chad's going to pull a three. Shot no good. And just chaos underneath the basket. And Blevins is going to come away with the ball after a missed shot attempt from the Panthers. Blevins trying to work the ball around. Can't leave him open. He is a shooter there. I'm going to try to drive baseline no dish it to Hampton. And we'll have a foul on the floor. And they're going to call that one on Chad Barentine. That's his first. And so it looks like Blevins is going to set up a box. And a beautiful inbounds play for a three that they just can't get to go. And Isaac Tillery is going to come away with the rebound. Inside to Dickinson. Dickinson oh, going to drive. Great move and gets the basket. Nice job by Zach Dickinson. He has he's been a force inside there tonight, Dalton. Most definitely has in a, a first-year player. For three. That one was from Hot Springs. That one was way <laughs> deep. Levin's working it inside, and then we're going to call a travel on Hampton right there. So Panthers get the ball and a chance to take the lead with 7.8 seconds, seconds left, left before half. Will Thompson's going to check in, and out goes Isaac Tillery. Looks like, or excuse me, uh, Zach will take a seat. And so six seconds, five seconds, four seconds. And, the, and a heave from Willis. Didn't have time to get his feet set. Right. But it is halftime, and so we will have a quick break, and then we'll come on and talk some basketball and some just Magnet Kobe in general um, here in a few minutes. So stay tuned here on the Magnet Kobe High School East YouTube page, and we'll be back with a halftime report right after this. My daughters grew up coming into this gas station when they were younger. Um, Michaela, that's the co-owner, she graduated from Magnet, and so. From kindergarten on through 12th grade, we would be in here every day getting a biscuit or field trip day, you had to come in and get the sandwiches and the soda pops and you know, Mr. Harkins would fix you up right and so it was a must have. So we just always loved it and you know, it was part of our family tradition and so we just wanted to bring it on to the next round of kids. You know, we of course had to pay homage to the Panthers across the street because they're such a huge part of this community and then you can't pass by without seeing them. So it was Panther Pass, of course. And then the grocery and gas just kind of was very fitting and catchy and just went along well. A lot of people say that the hamburgers are, you know, kind of worth stopping for. But, um, you know, we, we have a pretty diverse little menu for a gas station. And, uh, you know, we've got kind of neat creations that you're not going to find anywhere else. You know, we've got the new Panther pile up, and that's kind of fun. And then... We've got the, a huge burger on the menu, and a lot of people like to come in and try that. And then, you know, in the mornings, we have a pretty good little breakfast buffet on Fridays and stuff when school's in session. And so, you know, we have lots of yummy stuff, French toast and uh, bacon and sausage and eggs and biscuits and gravy and casserole. And so a pretty good, pretty good, you know, into your week, start on your Friday, so. So just lots of little neat things. We love to give back to the community. So we always try to find a neat specials, you know, kind of some home cooking. You know, here in Malvern, you don't get too many choices for home cooking. So, um, you know, on our daily specials, we try to go back, like we'll have the open roast beef sandwiches and mashed potatoes and gravy some weeks. We've done meatloaf. Um, 
coming up since it's January and all of us want to be healthy. Michaela just came up with a taco salad that's pretty yummy, I have to say. I just had it for lunch myself to try it out. And so I believe next Tuesday is going to be Taco Salad Tuesday. So y'all tune in for that. Well, I love the mushroom Swiss burger, but I like to put the grilled onions on it. And then um, some of our patrons that come in, they will also add A1 steak sauce on top of it. I'm just telling y'all, if you hadn't tried it, you, uh, it, it's a must. You gotta try it out, it's really good. So we're trying to have once a month, like a little community event. So in January, we're gonna try, weather permitted, to do something fun here. We love to let the kids come in. We've, we've talked to some of the local churches and stuff like that about maybe doing a breakfast for the community. Um, and just letting people come in and it's free of charge and, and have a breakfast on a Saturday morning or something. Um, so we've thought about things like that. Of course, um, when the weather gets nice again, we'll do our movie nights and we love to do that. Um, probably the spring, we'll have to have a little spring dance or something for the kids. Um, graduation, we may put on something fun for graduation, like an after graduation thing. Just something that the kids have somewhere to go that's safe and you know, the families know that they're, they're going to be okay. You know, we're, we're going to take care of them. So, um, you know, we got lots of stuff in the woodwork, but, you know, just some of it is weather permitting. And then as we grow and be able to get, utilize more space around here, that'll also help with being able to do more stuff. Do you have some land you need cleared to build on? Call Hartzell Farms and Excavating. Do you need some excavation done on your property? Call Hartzell's Farms and Excavating. Hartzell's Farms and Excavating LLC is a veteran owned and operated company with 20 plus years of experience in the construction business. Owner Vernon Hartzell will be happy to see how he and his crew can meet your needs. Free estimates can be given by calling number 870-210-0204. Again, that number is 870-210-0204. Thank you for your business. Are you broke down on the side of Interstate 30? Call Bailey's Towing and Recovery. Are you locked out of your car? Call Bailey's Towing and Recovery. For any towing recovery lockout needs, call Bailey's Towing and Recovery at 501-332-3400. Again, that number is 501-332-3400. Thank you for your business. here at Panther Gymnasium getting ready to go to second half action. Uh, right now, the Blevins Hornets are up by one with the score. It's 27 to 26. It's been a back and forth game this first half. Uh, both teams have hit some key shots and both teams have turned the ball over. And uh, it's it's been a, a great first half and looks to, to be a great second half as well. So. We will have to see what happens here in the second half. And uh, both teams are out here on the court uh, taking some shots before uh, the Panthers have got to uh, regroup, take care of the basketball, and uh, get some get some good, decent looks at the basket. And yep. uh, want to give kudos to Zach Dickinson. You know, he has come out and uh, has been a force inside tonight for the Panthers. Yeah, he's had a couple key baskets. He had a big and one uh, down here on this side. So it ought to be good to see how he performs in the second half, see if he can, can keep the train going. And so we'll have to see. But uh, it ought to be interesting. Blevins Magnet, uh, we got 
16 more minutes to go here tonight, and then the Panthers will be moving on to the Battle of the Cove Tournament. So that will be interesting. And so here exactly. we go. It is time for the second half, Coach. Yes, sir, it is. And uh, should be a great, great second half, uh, if it's anything like the first half was. And uh, both teams here are scrappy. You know, both teams are uh, – the, the boys looking are they're hungry for a win as well both looking to uh, to, to get that first taste of victory here and uh, I know coach long is uh, talking to him you know about taking care of the ball making good shots and you know uh, just just doing well as far as, as taking care of the basketball and, and taking good shots yeah most definitely that's going to be key in, in in transition the Panthers have had people down open down low and just not been able to get to them. Right. So we'll have to see if Blevins comes out in a sort of press. Uh, pressure has been kind of, kind of hurt has has hurt the Panthers uh, right. in this first half. So it's going to be Davis. Uh, it's going to be Dickinson. So it looks like the Panthers are are going to set up in a, in a zone off uh, de defense right here. Excuse me. Right. And looks like they're in a little one three one here with collapsing and a th quick three there and Dickinson with the rebound. Looking, surveying the floor there, trying to find the open shot. Man, and Blevins has done an excellent job tonight of keeping the ball on the perimeter for the Panthers. Great, great hustle by Damian Stevens right there to get the board. After the missed three there by, da uh, by Davis. Inside to Dickinson. Dickinson, the and power move and the foul call there as he – Will be fouled with 7.05 left to go in the third. And again, Zach will go to the line to shoot uh, shoot two. He's picking up right where he left off the first half, trying to get low underneath and uh, going to the line. And the first one is good. He's, he ties this game up, which is big for the Panthers. And as you saw in the in the first game, you're gonna you want to keep it close and have a lead as long as you can. Um, Levin's held on to the senior girls lead and a beautiful rebound there by Cade and he's going to come away with it and a great play there by Davis. Yeah, Cade Davis has been excellent on the boards tonight, uh, both defense and offensive boards tonight. And a three there from Chad Barrington as he has found his rhythm from beyond the arc as the Panthers go up three. And Coach Long wants some intense defense and a wide open look there, and they bury that one. And we are trading shot for shot here at Panther Gymnasium. Yeah, that's Bazell again for the Hornets. And a feed inside and just too much on that pass and a little bit out of line there as they try to get it to Dickinson down low. That will be a turnover as we've got a game knotted up at 30 here. At Panther Gymnasium with 6.25 left to go here in the third quarter. Looks like Javier Gomez is going to bring it down. He's going to jump stop, kick it back out to, and that's number two, Riley Powell. And a beautiful shot there from Powell as he is able to get it, and the ball's deflected. Both active hands. Bazell gets the steal. And they're going to say it is off Bazell, and the Panthers will take take the ball out. Panthers down three after that three from Powell. Barrington looks, pump fakes. Goes off the dribble. The Dickinson is right there. And he will be fouled, and he will go to the line to shoot a pair again. Yeah, Zach Dickens is just doing the dirty work tonight, you know, getting off the boards, being at the right place, the right time, getting position, going up. And then he's making the free throws on the other end, and that yes, is, he is Jackson Bonner. Is, that is his third personal foul as he is going to check out right now. And in comes number 34. That is going to be Killis Woodruff, I believe. 
Yes, I... And Gomez kicks it out to Bazell. Bazell takes the baseline. And so that will be a, that will retain Blevins' possession. And Powell will inbound the ball for the Hornets. And that ball is tipped by Barentine, I believe. And a scuffle for the ball. Stevens is going to come away with it. He's looking to push on the other end to Barentine. Barentine up and in, and a beautiful move there from Stevens to Barentine. Great job. That just what the Panthers needed to spark it. Mazzell pump fakes, and that shot is just off the mark, in and out. Gets another look at it. And we will have a traveling violation, a great defense there. Zach Dickinson, you can hear the hands up from Coach Long, and immediately Zach went there, and he gets the, the, gets the guy to travel. Right, exactly. And... Oh, oh, behind nice. the no back look. pass. And the foul. What a, what a great play there. And Powell is going to be fouled. And so he has a chance at a three-point play here for the Hornets. And he does convert. So now that puts Blevins up to They find Kay Davis open, and he lays Dang. it in on the inside. And we've got a timeout, Coach Long. We'll take a timeout with him here with 4.38 left to go here in the third quarter. So we'll take a quick break on the Manicope High School East YouTube. Do you have some land you need cleared to build on? Call Hartzell Farms and Excavating. Do you need some excavation done on your property? Call Hartzell's Farms and Excavating. Hartzell's Farms and Excavating LLC is a veteran owned and operated company with 20 plus years of experience in the construction business. Owner Vernon Hartzell will be happy to see how he and his crew can meet your needs. Free estimates can be given by calling number 870-210-0204. Again, that number is 870-210-0204. Thank you for your business. Back in Magna Cove as Panthers are tied up with the Blevins Hornets. And that is a drive there from Xavier Bazell. And the ball will be kicked around. They get it back to him inside. Up and in as he gets the and one. Yeah, Bazell got good position. Just kept fighting for the ball and went up and, of course, was fouled. But went up strong. And now a chance for a three-point play here for Bazell. Shot is up and nothing but net. So he converts on the three-point play. And there is a foul call there as Stevenson is going to be fouled there by Hampton because he tried to just jump the route right there and yeah. goes a little bit too far up. And so that will be his third foul. And Blevins doesn't have a very deep team just like Magnet. Keon Willis back in here. Looking inside to Zach. And, and a beautiful Dickinson. move there by Dickinson once more. And that shot is going to be no good there. Rebound Dickinson. Dickinson getting it done on all aspects of the, the boards, offensively and defensively tonight. And they get it to him inside. He Great gets it. Pass. And there's the foul call as he gets it to Stevenson on that other block, able to go up and get the foul call. And that will be on number 12. That is his second. That's Gomez. Gomez, yes. 
Damian Stevens' first shot is up and good. So we are tied here again at 39 apiece. And gets the shooter's roll. So the Panthers go up by one. So Gomez is going to set up the offense here on that far side for Blevins. The ball is tipped away there. And now it's tipped away there. And Powell's going to come away with it up and in. Got to take care of the basketball there. And that's what Coach Long is, is very frustrated about. Inside to Tillery. Tillery goes up. And he's going to be stripped of the ball. They're going to get it into Stevens. And Powell's going to get another takeaway on the other end. And he's going to lay that one in. And so now the Panthers down by three in a quick Whip right there. Panther, they're, they've got to get out of that sideline. And Dickinson's going to go up. They say that one was all ball. Keon thought about the three. Well, inside good work to by Tony down there. And they get it inside to Tillery, and the Panthers cash in right there, only down by one now. And a look there from Bazell is no good. And Isaac Tiller with the rebound. And the shot and a beautiful shot there on the baseline by Damian Stevens to give the Panthers the lead. Great ball movement right there and able to get, get the, the lead back there. Cross, cross pass. And Zach Dickinson comes away with the rebound once more. He has been a Swiss Army knife for the Panthers tonight, Coach. He really has. I mean, he has uh, done it in all phases, offensively, defensively, getting positions, tips, rebounds. Nice pass, but – and they're going to say he traveled there. That's all right. So now he's going to check out to take a breather, and he has definitely earned a breather tonight. Yeah, Coach Long giving him a, a good five there because he has worked tonight. And the three is good there from Javier Gomez, and that puts Blevins back on top by two. No shot clock here for Magnet. And the shot no good there by Stevens. He's going to go back up with it and lay wow. it in to tie the game up. Great hustle by Damian Stevens there. Followed his own rebound and uh, got it again and put it back up, made the shot. So, so we got a tie game going into the fourth, and so we will take a quick commercial break here on the Magnet Cove High School East YouTube page, and we'll be back with more Panther basketball to start the fourth right after this. Are you broke down on the side of Interstate 30? Call Bailey's Towing and Recovery. Are you locked out of your car? Call Bailey's Towing and Recovery. 
for any towing recovery, lockout needs, call Bailey's Towing and Recovery at 501-332-3400. Again, that number is 501-332-3400. Thank you for your business. If you're looking for a hidden gem while traveling down Arkansas Highway 51, then Panther Pass Grocery and Gas is your one-stop destination. The Panther Pass is more than just your typical local grocery and gas station. It is also has a full cafe menu with delicious mouth-watering food that will satisfy any type of appetite. The Panther Pass is also a proud supporter of the Manic Cove School District and a community partner with the Manic Cove High School East. The Panther Pass is located at 2214 Highway 51, Magnet Cove. And we're back here at Panthers Gymnasium for the fourth start of the fourth quarter here. Damian Stevens gives it to Baron Pine, and Tony spots up for a three and buries the three. And so the Panthers take the lead, 49 to 46. And then Bazell with his own three rims in and out. And Velasquez with the rebound. And that one's going to be tipped. And. It will, of course, retain possession for the Panthers. Great hustle there by the Hornets. Velasquez working on it. Roselle, Chad Barentine pulls up for three just off the mark, but Stevens is there for the rebound. He looks to drive. And he is going to be fouled. And I believe we'll go to the line to shoot two. <laughs> First shot is up and good. That Excellent. extends the lead to four for the Panthers. Got to get this lead as far as you can if you're a Panther. And if you're a Blevins Hornet, you got to can contract and make it where that lead is as little as possible. Absolutely. So. Javier Gomez for three, just short, but rebound was. Yeah, uh, that's Powell, Powell. On the rebound. He's been a expert player of four Blevins tonight. Three point game here at Panther Gymnasium. As Chad looks, looks to drive, he goes up and shot no good, but none other than Zach Dickinson, Dickinson there. Gets his third rebound. attempt and finally gets the, sh the foul call. He is playing. He is playing like a dog down there on the he low is. post. He really is. He is hustling, going up for these loose balls. I mean, that's what you ask for. And, and that's what you ask for as a coach, you know, to – to get after it. And he doesn't get the shooter's roll on either of them. So Zach goes 0 for right there at the charity stripe. Shot and that up. shot, oh, beautiful shot there by Bazell. And that brings them within one there, Dalton. Yeah, Pan excuse me, Panthers got to find some offense. There's a three from Tony, and, and he drains is, it. And that is how you get an offense sparked right there. That is his second three-pointer in, three in a row there, uh, Dalton. Um, Tony starting to feel it tonight. And, oh, that one's going to be off the mark. And that is number 15 who has checked in for the Hornets, McMorris. Je yeah, McMorris checks in right there. Jahemian. There and again. Oh, that one. Tony said, if you're not going to guard me, I'm going to spot up and shoot that thing all night long. Most definitely. And doesn't get that one to fall, and it's going to be Powell on the other end. Ball fake, he goes up and air balls that one and Barentine comes down with the rebound. Yeah. 
And they're going to call a push off there Barrel. on Barentine. Barentine. Yes. That will be a offensive foul. And a three there, no good, as Tillery comes down with the rebound. Panthers up by four. And Coach Long wants a timeout. And it will be a full timeout, so we will also take a timeout here on the Matic Hope High School Issue 2 page. And we'd like to give a special shout-out to Hartzell's Farms and Excavating. They have been a proud supporter of the Matic Hope High School East Department, so Shout out to Vernon Hartzell and his crew over there, 20 plus years of experience in the construction and excavation business. So we will give a shout out real quick to Hartzell's Farms and Excavation. We'll be right back with more Panther basketball after this break. Do you have some land you need cleared to build on? Call Hartzell Farms and Excavating. Do you need some excavation done on your property? Call Hartzell's Farms and Excavating. Hartzell's Farms and Excavating LLC is a veteran owned and operated company with 20 plus years of experience in the construction business. Owner Vernon Hartzell will be happy to see how he and his crew can meet your needs. Free estimates can be given by calling the number 870-210-0204. Again, that number is 870-210-0204. Thank you for your business. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here for the last 5.03 of this game. Panthers up four. And so we'll have to see if they can control that lead as Tony's going to inbound the ball here. And he gets it in to Stevenson. And a drive there from Stevenson. Shot no good. Ball is tipped Tip. around by Stevenson and Dickinson, and shot goes in. Panthers make it a two possession game with that bucket right there. And a beautiful ball fake there by number three, that is Xavier Bazell. Yeah, he just hit the brakes and then took to the drive and pulled up and hit the shot. And Barentine's going to take a three. Shot and no. And a steal there from Stevenson. Excuse me, Stevens. He's looking to go coast to coast. And he is going to be stripped there by Gomez. And so he will, Magnet will retain possession. And it looks like Cade Davis is now going to be the in, to inbound the ball for Tony. And a beautiful drive there, and that is contact there. So we will have a whistle on Blevins. And I believe they called that on number 14 is who for Blevins. Is that Bonner, and that's his fifth, so he will take a seat and be done for the night. And Woodruff will check in, number 34. And so Stevens will drain that one. And the second one is good to extend the lead to six for the Panthers. And we have a foul call. That one's going to be on Barentine. And that is his fifth, and Chad Barentine is done. So each team uh, has a player which fouls out. Uh, and so now Keon Wills is going to have to come in for the last 344.
Cleffin's looking to drive on that right side. And we have a charge, and Zach Dickinson has done it all tonight, Coach. And he adds an offensive charge to his tally tonight. I don't think there is a category he has not covered tonight, Dalton. Most definitely, Coach. Offensive board, defensive board, uh, charge, charge, free throw. <laughs> I, if he hits a three, he's definitely got them all. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so Panthers get possession, get possession get. back, and he is fouled. Zach Dickinson is going to be fouled there. And that's number four, Hampton, and they – is that going to be his? Yes, that's his that fifth. is fifth as well. I knew we were, he was close, but I wasn't exactly sure. So now so. McMorris, number 15, is going to check in. So now you've got uh, uh, two players for Blevins and a player for Magnet. That's fouled out. And the first shot is good there from Dickinson. And the offensive board, a three from Keon, shot no good. And I think they're going to get Zach with the over the back there yes. for the Panthers. Bazell. Shot no good, rebound there by Cade. Under three minutes left to go. Stevens going to go coast to coast. Up, shot no good, but he will draw the foul. And that one's going to be on number three. That is Bazell. That is his first foul. That one falls, the first one from Stevens falls off the rim. Second one's up. And good. I guess the Panthers in an eight-point lead, you think might almost be enough with 2.53 left to go in this game. Right. Oh, and that is Woodruff that's going to find the open space down low. Blevins looking to apply a little pressure. And Stevens going to take it all the way up and in and extend the lead back out to eight. Just under two and a half here to go in the remaining fourth quarter here at Panther Gymnasium. And that was a haymaker of a three right there released by Brazell. And Stevens will come away with the rebound. Tony's going to take a three, and the shot no good there, and we're going to have a foul on the floor there as Hampton tries to, excuse me, as Powell tries to get up the floor. So they will call that one on, I believe they're going to call that one on Keon. Keon. That is his first personal. And that's going to go off of, I believe that's Woodruff there for the Hornets. And and so we will have a timeout here on the floor. Blevins down eight with 154, but we will stay right here. And I, I wouldn't really want to talk about We got something big coming up at the Cove the week after Thanksgiving break. Uh, in 10 days it will start. We have the Battle of the Cove Tournament. We've got teams from all over the region coming and competing for the coveted battle at the Cove Plaque. So that ought to be a good one, Coach. And we, we got some good teams coming, let me tell you. And so on our girls' side, we have Jesseville, Washtenaw, Maumelle Charter, Caddo Hills, Parker's Chapel, Center Point, and, of course, Magnet Cove. Uh, let me tell you, that Jesseville squad is is not a squad to play with on the girls' side. They are going to um, – Coach Scribner is going to have her two daughters coached up, and then they have got another girl that plays with them that is extremely talented. And then on the boys' side, we've got Jesseville, Parker's Chapel, Washtenaw, Magnet Cove, Center Point, and Caddo Hills. So the boys' side is looking pretty good. Magnet Cove and Washita get the buy on the boys' side, and Magnet Cove gets the buy on the girls' side. We will post those brackets on our – the brackets are posted on the school district Facebook page. So uh, we will have – brought we will bring you all of those games on the Magnet Cove High School East YouTube page here 
when tournament starts. Uh, 11 27, that will be a Monday. So the girls will start Monday at 4.30. So that ought to be a good one as the Panthers inbound it here with under two minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter. So it ought to be interesting to see if the Panthers can finally close a game out with and put a W in the column as Stevens looking to drive, going to kick it, and we're going to have a foul. They're going to call uh, on the arm there. And Damian Stevens will go to the line to shoot two. And so now Stevens will shoot one more, and that foul right there puts Magnet Cove in the bonus as he drains that one to give him a 10-point lead, and you wonder if that's, an, that's enough to seal it, Coach, with 136 left to go in the game. Yes, sir. And... And we have, and we have a whistle. And, and they're going to call. Uh, they're going to call. They're going to call that on Zach. Yeah, I, I, that, some sort of knee motion by the ref. So, and a beautiful inbounds play to Gomez there. And so Panthers looking to break the press. They get it across half court and lose it. Stevens is going to come away with it though. Across Great the pass. Tony, and, and they're they will gonna call say, it travel. Yeah, they're going to say travel there. So 117 left to go here. Panthers up eight. Mazell going to drive inside to Woodruff, and the ball is batted away there by Tony. Panthers half possession here. And a trap there, and we have a we have a foul. That's gonna be on number two, I believe, Riley Powell. That's his second. So Magnet Cove will be shooting shots because they're in the bonus. They're in the bonus. Yes, they are. And Keon Willis will go to the line for the Panthers. Keon will shoot one more, and that one is no good. Ball is batted. See that's batted off of, and that's going to be Magnet Cove ball. That's batted off of Blevins player. So with 56.6 seconds left, the Panthers looks like they have sealed this one. And I believe Coach Long wants a timeout to talk it over. Final strategy here in the a little under one minute here, 56.6 seconds to be exact. Yeah, and Coach Long uh, gets his first win, more than likely with 56.6 seconds left. Any, anything can happen, but you have a, a nine-point lead. I mean, you get your first win as a as a coach here at Magnet for the senior boys, and so that has to be a, a pressure relief off Coach Long's shoulders. Yes, it does, and just a, a great job by the guys tonight. Um, I, I, they were very – they hustled. Uh, on the floor, and uh, we're very scrappy tonight. Both teams were, really, and uh, just an outstanding game uh, by uh, Zach Dickinson, you know. Uh, I guess you could say uh, he has been, you know, the surprise of tonight. Oh, yeah, most definitely. His play. That's going to be off of a magnet defender, so that will be Blevins' ball. And I'm going to be willing to bet that Blevins will, if they make this through, they're going to set up their press, but it is off the mark, and they are going to move the ball around. And wide open to Tony, like a punt returner back there. Tony just trying to, to – 
buy some time. And now Magnet trying to dribble it out. And a steal there. And Magnet gets it back there. Tony snatches it up off the floor. And that will do it for the Panthers. 17 seconds and counting. And here comes the fouls as Javier Gomez fouls right there. And that shot is just off the iron there. Looks like Coach Long is going to pull the defense back. And a three there, shot no good. And that will do it. Five, four, three, two, one, and that will do it. And Coach Long gets it done at home. He gets his first victory as the Maddox Hope Senior Boys head coach as they beat Blevins 65-56 in a hard-fought game for both sides. And, I mean, it's overall performance, Zach Dickinson, outstanding player tonight. Uh, played well offense, defensively, and just uh, played scrappy. Uh, a lot of heart uh, was played on the floor tonight, but you could tell by both squads, and so that – it's awesome, but Panthers get the win here at home, and so they got momentum going into the Battle of the Cove tournament, and so um, safe travels, everyone back to Blevins, and so that will wrap it up here on the Manic Cove High School East YouTube page. We thank you all for tuning in, whether you're in Manic Cove or Blevins or wherever you are tonight. Uh, we appreciate you. We'll be back on the air at 4.30, November 27th, to start the Battle of the Cove tournament that is going to be a gauntlet, and so that will do it for tonight. I am Dalton Reed, and I'm signing off. Thank you for listening.